you. Um, what are we making today? We are making, so what is your favorite cracker? Do you, do you I'm eat not, crackers? I, I'm not a huge cracker person, that's funny. Uh, I'm, I'm sweet, not, I'm a sweet girl, not savory. I, um, I do love these sweet potato rounds at Trader Joe's, but my kids that's adore good. goldfish and Cheez-Its. That's what my kids love, and yeah. I it makes me crazy to buy them because they're not healthy. I know, I know. My kids love, well, my, my, my son, he loves Cheez-Its. Mm -hmm. And they are delicious, don't get me wrong. They I are delicious. I do love so, them. So, we're going to make a vegan, plant-based Cheez-It. I can't imagine what this is going to taste like. <laughs> me either. Okay, but, well the kids will have to be the judge. They will. So we're going to give it a try. So I found this recipe on Pinterest and we're going to give it a try. I I'm excited. And this should be, I'm probably more excited than she is. But no, I, I, hey, I do love a cheese it I mean, who doesn't love a cheese it I mean, it's so delicious. No, okay. It's delicious. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to start with um, almond flour, mm -hmm. oat flour, we have nutritional yeast, nutritional right. yeast, tumor, or turmeric, uh, paprika, a little onion powder, a little sea salt, yes, and a little baking powder, and a little baking powder. Yep. And we're gonna put this in the food processor. Okay. Can't imagine this is gonna turn into crackers, but we'll. I know. We'll just we'll have to see. And like you said, it's not a lot of ingredients. Mm -hmm. So we'll see. And then we've got three tablespoons of tahini paste. Mm -hmm. Okay. So this is just uh, ground up sesame seeds. It right? is, and we just get that at Trader Joe's. It's mm -hmm. just tahini paste you can use when you're making hummus or whatever, and so yeah. Which this is an ingredient I always have on hand mm -hmm. because I love making hummus. I do hummus. now, because you told me to, but I used to never get that. Okay, so we're just going to pulse this. And then it says to add four to five tablespoons of cold unfiltered water. Filtered water, not unfiltered. Mm -hmm. We wouldn't want unfiltered. Right. So, so just water. Just water. Okay. I'm just telling you what the recipe said. Got it. Okay, so I'm gonna add two. I'm gonna pull it again. So we get a little bit of a, I guess we're looking for a sticky dough. We're looking for a sticky dough. All right. Actually, I'm gonna do this because I see that right I there. I know, it's kind of sticking to the sides. It kind of, I don't know. What? I think it, is that enough? Maybe one more tablespoon? I think one more tablespoon. So we're not gonna need all five. You just put in two so far. You want me to put in a third? Yeah, a third. All right. Because I think that the tahini, tahini was a little bit runnier than, yeah. which is which is Gives great. Gives it some moisture. Okay. okay. Let me do this, sorry. Yeah, because look at that. Yeah, it's, it's almost there. So don't add all four tablespoons, five tablespoons. You want to do it one at a time. I think we'll be able to roll that. I don't know why do you think so? I don't know. Let's feel it. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. I mean, I could make a ball out of that. Oh yeah. I think okay. that's perfect. All right. So, floured surface. You want to give me some almond flour? Yeah. Let's put a little almond flour on the parchment here. Mm -hmm. All right. There we go. It smells good. It does smell good. I know. Does it say to roll it on the parchment or does it? It does. Good? Really? Yeah. I mean, you can do whatever you want. We clean the surface, so. Okay. You want? You want to just do it on here? I think so. Okay. I think it'll, because when you roll it, that way the parchment doesn't move. There we go. Okay. We just cleaned it, so we're good. All right. I'm going to start giving you this, and you can start. Okay. Making it into there, a ball, it's right? It's really not going to be. I think it'll be enough Cheez-Its for me to eat. I mean, oh, look at this. Oh, huh. I'll be darned. Well, I think we're going to share. Look at, I mean, there's not, it's not a whole lot. No. It's like Play-Doh. I love playing with Play-Doh. I know. My favorite thing. Hey, guys, if this doesn't turn out, we have Play-Doh. We have Play-Doh. At least... Edible. At least there's that. It's, and it's edible, right? It's edible. I know. I'm kind of curious. I'm a dough person. I'm kind of curious what the dough tastes like. No, it's gonna be good. It's cheesy. It's really cheesy. Oh, it is cheesy. Okay. Mm, I'm kind of excited. Mm, that's good, isn't it? All right. So it said how flat. That's the part I. Well. Here. Let's do this. 
You own a pastry shop. You yeah, give me. Yeah, but this doesn't get anything. <laughs> okay, nothing. Mm -hmm. A little bit more. That good. Yeah. All right. And so we have the um, oven preheated. 350, 350, right? 350. Yeah, see, hold on. This is not going to be one of my finest. Look at you with the heavy marble. I know. That was a wedding gift. Really? And I love it. I love it too. Yeah. I, I love it. It's got a little stand and everything. Or a little holder. Do you have something that we can kind of scrape to set the crackers on? Uh, sure. You know what I'm saying? Like a offset... Huh. I have, is this what you're thinking? Like this? Sure, but that'll work. And then I need a, I forgot about like a toothpick because we want to put a hole in the middle. Oh yeah. To make it look like a Cheez-It so we feel like we're eating a Cheez-It. Yeah. I love making homemade crackers. So I, Mar Martha Stewart has a um, an appetizer's cookbook. Uh -huh. And they have cracker recipes and they are so good. I mean, I've made Parmesan crisps, and I love those. Those are delicious. Yeah, that's, let me see what this is going to be. I don't know. I think that's, that's about pretty good. I think that's good. Uh, hey, listen. So I'm just going to cut these into strips, okay? And then we'll go back the other way and cut them into squares. So we're going to get these on the um, parchment line baking sheet, and then we're going to bake like, them like for that, like, right? Mm -hmm. okay. I think it says to bake them for like, tw it's random, like 12 to 18 minutes. So mm -hmm. I think we're going to check them at 12 and see how they are. And then we'll, let me cut these I'm other squares. I'm actually kind of surprised how easy this is. Like I'm it's super easy. Yeah. Like I feel like this is you're, super easy. You remember when I told you what we were going to make and you were like, I, I wasn't all, yeah, she always picks hard stuff like sushi and bread. This is not hard. Well, this isn't hard. You're right. Okay. All right, so we'll get these on the tray. Okay. And this we're... is actually pretty easy. I know. Okay. So we're going to get these in the oven, and we will be right back. Sounds good. Okay, I am super excited about trying these. Me too. Right. And, I mean, they look like Cheez-Its. They smell like Cheez-Its. I wonder if they taste like Cheez-Its. Let's see if they taste. So, how, let's see. We did 12 minutes, and then I did another three. What did I did another, another two. Okay, so 17 minutes. So 17. it said 12 to 18 minutes, and I think that depends on how thin you roll them out. Mm -hmm. So these are, they probably could have been a little bit thinner, but I don't, I don't know. Yeah, and, and they've got just like a nice kind of light brown to them. You can kind of see, you know, that you definitely can tell they're baked. So should we taste? I think we should taste. Now I love a really dry cracker and there's not oil in this other than that tahini right. paste. So I'm thinking they're going to be dry. Mm, those are good. Those are really good. I don't think they taste just like a cheese it, but they're they're delicious. But they do have a cheesy. They do have a cheesy taste to them, and there's no dairy. Okay, so the the big ta well, and there's not all the there's not all the preservatives in it. That's no. what I like about it. Um, mm. I want my boys to taste these. I wonder. I mean, I don't think I can pass them off as a straight out cheese it, but I think they would like them. Just a homemade cracker. I mean, that's mm -hmm. what I would tell people. Those are really good. They're delicious. The only thing I think I would change yeah. is I think I would sprinkle a little sea salt on the top of them. Right before you bake them. Because you know when you're eating a Cheez-It, you uh -huh. like getting a little salty uh -huh. on your... So maybe just a little sea salt. Or yeah. even as when they're coming out of the oven and still a little warm, maybe just sprinkle a little bit. Yes. Yeah. Okay. And this but, made more than I thought. I thought like from the I dough, I was like, oh, it's not going to make very many. I know. So we'll have to, we'll, we'll take a picture. We'll put the recipe in there. Um, I thought they were great. I love them. They're really good. Yeah. They're really good. Try homemade crackers. I'm just telling you, when you try them, you're, you're surprised and then you, you will keep making them. Yeah. And they're just so much better for you. Not all the, some of the, oh, it makes me crazy to buy those sometimes. Every now and then I throw my kids a bone and buy it, but I'm just like, oh. And, uh, and let's just face it. They, they eat at other places. Poor Canic boys. No, right? it's fine. Fine. They're not that depressed. <laughs> so please hit the big red subscribe button um, and stay tuned for some more healthy, um, delicious recipes from Two Hungry Neighbors. Yep. Sounds great. Thanks. See ya.